I'm from New York. You know, from a rough neighborhood. A lot of crime, fights, gang banging. Small house, single parent home. Just me and my mom. Dupree and his mom were extremely close. And that was evident when we started recruiting him, that she was a major, major part of his life. With a mom that worked in a prison, she saw what making the wrong decisions and not taking care of your business could mean for a young kid like Dupree. And she let him know that every day. She was real with him. Growing up in New York City, you know, on the playground and in the gym, it was a part of the recruitment process with him because he had a lot of Northeast schools recruiting him, you know, at the mid-major level and at the high-major level. And I just said, hey, you come out to the Big Ten, you come out to the Midwest, there's not a lot of guys like you. I do think he's got that fearlessness, that toughness to him that he wants to take the big shot. He wants to attack the basket and he'll go up against anybody. And, and I do think that his background, his upbringing is probably the way he plays that way. He's a captain, lovable kid, rarely in a bad mood, always positive, great teammate, wants to win. One of my favorite kids that I've coached. He's just so easy to be around. My mom worked at Rikers Island, top five worst jails in America. She was a, a deputy warden, meaning like she's like on the top of the chain. She's been there over 20 years. Now she had the time to retire. Thank God, thank God. I made it to the top of the mountain. Check this beautiful view out, okay? My time to live, and I'm gonna keep living. See ya. You know, just recently, she told me she was going on a cruise for two weeks that she wasn't gonna have a phone, but she was really doing, you know, chemotherapy for, um, for uh, lung cancer. She didn't tell me anything. She didn't tell none of my family members anything. I get a call that she's in the hospital from a random dispatch person, so fly home right away. The lung cancer spread it to her brain. Prayed every day. Um, then finally I got the I got the call from my cousin. And she was like, your mom passed away. I didn't know how to handle that first. Uh, I just hung up the phone. Then I got another call from my, my middle brother, uh, Antoine. And he called me and he said, mommy's gone, bro. So once I heard that, uh, went in my room, uh, called Coach P, told him I had to, I had to go home. You know, he was, He's real cool about it. He's just like, I'm here for you. You know, do what you gotta do. Uh, just know if uh, Minnesota family is behind you. So then, that's how that went. I wanted to stop everything. Everything I was doing, I wanted to stop. You know, and just stay home for a while. And uh, this might sound weird, but then I just had like a little a little like voice go from my head, like I can just hear my mom saying, "Boy, if you don't play, <laughs> just 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 the toughness part of her just saying, you better play." Senior leader Dupree McBrayer lost his mother earlier this week from complications of cancer. He will play tonight, and his teammates no doubt will want to make this a special night of remembrance. The Nebraska team had R.I.P. Tyra shirts made, and I, I had no clue about it. The beauty of the Big Ten is it's a bit of a fraternity amongst the coaches and the players. You know, whenever something tough happens, uh, your phone's going to blow up with, with all the coaches and all the staff members in this great conference. McBrayer off the fake. And scores! A little point to the sky, too, after making that. Watching that Nebraska game just brought chills, you know, to me. And if you're a sports fan, that's what sports are about. Sports is about emotion and passion, giving everything you have to the game you love. In the second half, he makes a big layup, he makes a big three. There was just so much emotion from everybody because you could tell the 10,000 people in that building, they wanted us to win for Dupree. And Minnesota 
Minnesota gets the win in come from behind fashion. Dupree McBrayer getting hugs all around, including now from Tim Miles, wishing him the best. You know, I got to the middle, and Murphy's just like, I got you, brother, I got you, brother. Hearing that, it was just like, this was, you know, this is, my, this is my brother. So I just broke down, started crying. I said, I love you, bro. Told the whole team I loved him. My family met me in New York. We just started doing doing funeral stuff. We were able to have a plane donated, and more than half of our team, eight guys, staff members, Nate Mason, reached out, said, I want to come to the funeral. Seeing the look on his face when we all entered the room, I think that was really what gave him a sense of security, and that he really did have our support, uh, no matter what situation he was ever going to be in. I was able to speak just kind of talk about how awesome of a woman she was, how great she was during the recruiting process, how much she loved Dupree, and what she wanted for him. There's times where I'm alone. You know, I just, I just sit there and think about my mom. She wanted me to do this. She wanted me to, to finish out good. She wanted me to, you know, to make sure I hit some threes for her or dunk on people for it. So just stuff like that. She, that's always what she would say. He has a breakaway. Slam dunk. Dupree McBrayer four in a row. And there it is. Minnesota has won in Madison for the first time in 10 years. Just the text messages, you know, just those things is what I miss the most. She just checked on me every day to see how I was doing. Every day, just asking about class. Every day, I can't wait for senior night. I can't wait for graduation. She deserves nothing but the best. Any way I could give back to her, it's just what I'm, I'm gonna try to do. Just to deal with that kind of tragedy at such a young age and to have the poise um, and the maturity um, and just the confidence you know, to go through that and to handle it the way that he did was impressive. And it's a direct reflection of her.